When it comes to body language, uh, it's never an exact art. And the things I'm going to suggest, they're all guidelines. Um, but that said, there are some certain things that, as a poker player, I'll look for. Uh, and the most important thing is, first of all, to get sort of a baseline of somebody. It's Im impossible to, to tell whether the behavior someone's showing is meaningful or not if you don't know how they naturally behave. So the first thing I'll do when I sit down at the table is look at what my opponents are doing when they're not in a hand. You know, are they naturally quite gregarious? Are they confident you know, when they interact with the waitress? Or are they naturally quite quiet and shy? Um, how, do they, how do they sit? Are they, are they naturally closed off? Are they very languishing? That kind of thing. Um, and once I've got an idea of their baseline outside of a hand, then I look to see how they deviate from that when they're actually in the middle of playing or you know, in, a, in a tense situation. And in general, what you want to look for in both poker, but also when you're just, say, trying to figure out if someone's lying, is their, their comfort level. Um, if, if, they're sort of, if they seem authentic, like as a rule of thumb, humans are actually quite good at picking up uh, authenticity um, or if someone's being disingenuous. Uh, so that's, that's sort of the thing to look out for. And there are some like classic behaviors that I've noticed people do at the table where they'll, um, they'll sort of make a point of, if, if you see them suddenly making a point of making themselves bigger, you know, like where they're naturally sitting like this and now they're sort of puffing up, uh, that's more often than not sort of false confidence that they're, they're trying to show. Um, you know, most people do try to stay very constant. So if you notice sort of a, a like you really do notice a behavior, particularly against someone who seems to play quite regularly, the chances are they're, they're aware of their behavior. So they're probably trying to mislead you. Um, but another rule of thumb I like to follow is the first thing you learn as a kid, usually to, when you lie is, oh, liars won't look you in the eye. So what do, pe what do kids do to overcompensate? They'll, they'll look you in the eye. Um, and similarly, people are very aware of their faces and uh, you know, this part of their body if they're trying to be dishonest. But what they're not thinking about is the rest of their body. So the lower down on the body uh, that you're looking at, the more reliable the information is. So uh, if you think about when you're excited about something, generally speaking, you, you'll, you'll bounce around and, and, and be f sort of, you can't keep still. And you know, that's like, we call it happy feet in poker. Like the, the feet are often the most reliable thing to look at uh, on your opponent because they might be completely stoic in their face, but their feet are bouncing around. It's usually a sign that they have a really strong hand. But similarly, if they're sort of smiling and chatty, but their feet have all of a sudden sort of tucked themselves around the table or you know, around the chair legs, something's up there. So uh, as a rule of thumb, look for the rest of someone else's body more than their face um, if you're trying to figure out if they're telling you the truth or not.